I've got some tips and advice on how to paint your shower door. It's all part of my video series on a no demo, reno, in the bathroom. Let's bring this 90 shower into the new century. Here are the supplies that you're gonna need for this project. The first thing we need to do is give the shower door a good cleaning. Paint needs to adhere to a clean surface and having grime or dirt under the paint will not lead to good results. After it's clean, you're gonna wanna take a fine grit sanding sponge, around 400 grit, and sand all the surfaces you plan on spray painting. Sanding will help pull down all that gloss and help the paint adhere. Once you've given the shower door a great sanding, you're gonna wanna wipe away that dust. I'm using a product called Grime Boss. It helps remove that dirt and grime before you start painting. Next, I'm gonna take my painter's tape and tape off all around the shower door. I'm also going to use some of this brown paper to protect my walls and the shower door and the floor, all while I spray paint. You'd be surprised how far that spray paint can travel, so cover everything. Now that our shower door is taped off, I'm ready to spray paint. Make sure that you have the proper ventilation by opening a door, a window, and wearing a face mask. You also wanna wear clothes that you don't mind getting messy. I'm going to paint the shower trim matte black, but before I spray this color on, I'm actually gonna start with a primer. This will give it an extra layer of protection. I'm using Rust-Oleum White Primer. Make sure you shake the can well, start at the top of the shower door, and then in consistent strokes, go all the way down. Let it dry for one hour. Now that the primer is dry, we're going to wanna spray the black mat. This shower door is gonna go from dated to modern in minutes. Wait about a half hour after the first coat of black before applying the second coat. Two coats is key because of all the use this shower door is gonna see. Wait 24 hours before coming back and remove all the painter's tape and paper. The matte black spray paint looks amazing, but I'm not done. This clear glass can get a whole new look using Rust-Oleum frosted spray paint. The first thing I wanna do is clean the glass again, and once it's clean, I'm gonna tape off the trim. But I'm going to use frog tape for delicate surfaces to prevent any surface damage. And I'm also going to use more paper and cover all the surfaces because I don't want any extra spray paint to get on anything else. Next up is spray paint. Make sure you again have proper ventilation, open a door, a window, and make sure to wear a face mask. Start at the top of the glass door and work your way down in smooth, long motions. Apply a thin coat of this frosted spray paint, let it dry, and then come back and add additional coats. Remove all the painter's tape in the paper after two hours. Can you believe this transformation with just three cans of spray paint? There's so much you can do with spray paint. Like faded plastic chairs can get a whole new look with spray paint. That video is coming up next.